Okay, so today I'm going to be summoning on Celine. Uh, hopefully I don't go to pity on her, but um, I guess I will if I have to. The artifact, it'd be nice to have one just to have it there. Um, you know, it's usually better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it, so. If I get one, cool. If not, uh, I'm not going to, like, pull for it. But yeah, so let's take a look. Uh, the same kind of thing with her, like, she's not really necessary for this account. I'm not going to, like... I don't know, I mean, I'm probably not going to build her right away, but it's better to have her now and, and build her when I get more uh, what I need or when I get more time later. Um, but yeah, so here goes. Hopefully we don't uh, pity on her. Uh, what are some things that I need from the general pool? I need... I forgot to fill up my box, but I'm just going to fill up right now anyway. Uh, I need... Jects. Bunch of three stars just for fodder, basically. These artifacts are good for fodder too. Uh, in terms of four star artifacts, not really a whole lot of them. Four star heroes, not really a whole lot of them either. I just need one jet, and I'm probably going to go to pity, and I'm still not going to get one jet out of here, so take that as you will. <sighs> Let's see. Boys. I think she's good, um, like I said, it's not that I don't want to build her, like, because I think she'll be bad or anything, it's just that, um, okay, I didn't get the thing, um, the, it's a 25% chance to hit someone random when they don't do it, so, you put her on, on the defense and, you know, during rush hour, I guess, to some degree, since everybody's trying to cleave to get they're the fastest. The idea is, you you know, it, it theoretically it could boost your win rate up to twenty five percent if if you know you stop twenty five percent of cleaves from that. Um, but you know, it doesn't always work out that way pra in practicality. Uh, come on, see no eject. Eject is a three star, I think, right? I think. I get a feeling Jack is gonna be like the next, uh, well, not the next, but a next. Oh, well, not a next, but oh, there you go. See, uh, one of the upcoming specialty changes at some point. I mean, I imagine most of the three stars. There you go, cool. I imagine most three stars are gonna get a specialty change at, at one point or another. Um, but Jack just feels like he's he's closer than than most others. Um, that's just me, I guess. I'd really like to see a Mercer specialty change. I mean, she's already kind of broken as it is, but I mean. When has that ever stopped them? I mean, Axe God was already Axe God before he got the specialty change, so. I kind of missed that. Like, I'd have. Like, it'd be nice to have a specialty change of a unit you already use rather than a specialty change of a unit you don't use. I mean, I, I like the way it is now. I mean, I like that more units are being useful. Um. But it's still nice to have like, oh, I already use this unit, and they got a specialty change. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's that's just the way I see it. I think because I think to a degree, Clurry was already used because I wasn't around before the Clurry specialty change. But I imagine she was used already. I don't know. I'd have to go look at her her skill set before. But yeah, I know Axe God was already used before they specially changed him, so it, it gives me hope for like Mercer, because I would really like to see a Mercer SC. Uh, let's see. But yeah, like I said, does she need it? Probably not. There's Curious, Enot, never lacking for Enots. Momos. Oh, I just got a second. I pulled um, on Moonlight the other day, and I got a second um, Gaither. It's just kind of interesting. I mean, my first Gaither is like max uh, max imprinted, so you know everything else is like any more Gaithers after that. It's like, what, what am I gonna do with this? Oath keys. You might want to save your oath keys too, just because 
I get the feeling they're going to be pretty useful. Soon with all this um, evasion meta. Though I think, to me, the issue with Oath Key is it's only 20%, which is pretty low. Um, especially when people are getting, like, evasion buffs, which is 50%, so it's still a 30% evasion chance. Or for everybody's running in um, Assassin Cartusia, which boosts you up to uh, 45, which is basically you're still back at 50, even with an Oath Key. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. I mean, Oath Key basically is here exclusively just to counter Moonlight Dreamblade. Um, at least to me it is, anyway. Like, I'm not gonna use it to, like... I mean, no, I mean are you really using it to fight uh, an Emma, uh, Violet, a regular Violet, with his, what, 35 Moonlight, so 55 Evasion? No, we're just gonna try to, like, figure something out and just play it out from there. Uh, that Dingo, I have, I have, like, I think I have Blaze Dingo, Triple... Uh, not triple, but like max imprinted, and I'm already working on the second max imprinted dingo. I don't know if I will though. That's oh, kind of weird to skip that. I probably haven't changed the thing yet. Uh, Clarissa. I have Kitty Clarissa and regular Clarissa, which is kind of interesting. Um, I think regular Clarissa is actually pretty good for Wyvern. Her S1 D breaks and her S2 D breaks with uh, bleeds with two bleeds, so it's three. That's three on, on her own there. Um, however, you do really need to worry about the timing for these things. Uh, she does, I think she does, I think it's 3-1-1 uh, one, one, and then 3 again, but I'm not entirely sure. If it's 3-1-1-1, one, 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 then I think she's not going to be as valuable. Just because, like, you're going to have the defense break down a lot. I don't know why. I guess, it, see, I, I don't know. I have no idea why it's doing this. I'll look at the settings real quick. Uh, game settings, summon settings, skip, oh wow, I didn't know that, that's weird, I don't know why it's like that, uh, okay, it's kind of weird, I guess, is that the default then, I have enough for a, a, a moonlight summon after this, so I'll just do that, it's interesting, because on my phone, it is what it is, it's, it's, you know, I didn't have to worry about that, okay, I can't skip this, uh, I didn't have to worry about that, but um, I came on here and I guess I haven't changed a lot of the settings. See, there's another dingo. So I get dingoes like nobody's business. See, 50 from summon. I'm a little more than halfway and I still don't have one jacked. Please. Uh, well, if this is her, this is going to be a little bit annoying. Um, if you're thinking about summoning on this, I... It depends. If you don't have SSB, I would suggest I have a lot of Sirens too. Uh, I suggest saving because SSB is going to come back, and not only do you want SSB, but like you're going to want to pull multiple, um, pull multiple SBs, I think, and and try multi for multiple of her uh, of her artifact. Um, just because, I mean, for one, you want the mat, you want the artifact max limit broken. Um, and sure, you don't, maybe you don't want a triple S, uh, SSB, but you want at least some, some imprints on her. And mine is, uh, S imprinted, so I'm missing two more. Um, so I might, probably gonna summon on her banner, depending on how long it takes me to get the first one. I mean, I'm probably gonna guarantee getting a first one if you saw my crystals, I have enough to get at least one. Um, so depending on how long it takes to get the first one, if I have to pay the first one, I might not pull for a second one. Um, but yeah, so, uh, is this a 5 star? No, 4 star. Water's Origin, I think I already have my max limit broken, I just need to, like, level it up all the way. Uh, T-Area, I actually needed a few just because I wanted to, like, I'm not using the ML T-Area, but better to have her, like, max, uh, max imprinted than not. Plus, I hear she's pretty good for um, Azimanic 11 or 13, but I already have a team that can do it pretty easily, and it's not something I'm farming right now anyway, so, you know, whatever. 
Oh man, look at all these three stars that aren't jacked. That would be pretty interesting. I'd like to see how which other three stars I haven't pulled yet. Ooh, Armin's pretty good because uh, she's coming in the next Mystic rotation, and I'm probably I'm probably gonna pull for Violet for Remnant Violet. Um, it, I'm gonna wait till like the last uh, rotation just to see who's after him. Because um, I mean, I guess it's, it's common advice for most of you, unless you're like a whale, in which case you just pull for whatever you want. Um, is don't waste your Mystics until you see who's afterwards. Uh, if you see who's after, and you're like, okay, that don't really care, or you know, it's not that big a deal, then you move on. Um, then you go ahead and summon or do whatever you want, but yeah, so I'm looking at, I'm thinking about Remnant Violet, but we're waiting for, I think me and, and most people, I think at this point, are waiting for um, Arbiter Vildred to come back. So, could, am I saying he's going to be like, right after? Probably not, but um, yeah, probably not, but still, it's better to see than to like, be sad that you missed it. Alright, so it's looking like I'm going to pity for Cerise or Celine, which kind of sucks, but what can you do? Oh, there we go. Okay. So, as soon as I said that, of course she'd come out. Um, what there she is. met before, haven't we? Oh, we haven't? Hmm, huh. something about you feels familiar. I wonder if that has anything to do with, uh... Corinne, like she says that about you, the, the player character, but like, I feel like it has something to do with like, oh, she looks like, it's like, oh, we've done this all before, and it's like, oh, it's because you're basically just Corinne, but different. Um, but yeah, so here we go. Take a look at the details here. Uh, this just a this is just a damage dealing ability. All her animations are great, by the way. I like how they all look. They all look really nice. Uh, what does she have for an imprint attack? Okay. Uh, this is what you're. This is what. If when you're pulling for Celine, this is why you're pulling. Um, this is pretty good. You get an evasion and you cleanse yourself. Uh, and this just deals damage. But this, like, what separates her from someone else is this. Um, other people have you know great S threes that do things, S ones that do things, but this is the only thing that does this. Um, basically, it's here to stop cleaves to some degree. Obviously, you're not gonna like stop every cleave ever especially it's like yeah i don't know especially it's kind of interesting just to think about yeah. but yeah so should be good uh so let's go do that uh moonlight summon like i mentioned i have five here uh, ideally you'd want to pull again like as always you want to pull like when the new moonlight comes out uh and I, like I don't care. Like I kind of want um, ML Violet, obviously. But I don't want him enough to be like, oh, I'm gonna just like, you know, do everything for it to get him. Like he's again, he's diluting the pool, and I'd rather have something that we already had, like uh, an ML Ken or um, uh, an Arbor Villager or something like that. So I, you know, I'm fine pulling before and after. Uh, yeah, okay, just make sure. And nothing. What did we get? Uh, Harado, cool. I already have a Harado, so I just needed a couple more, and uh, I'll uh, I'll four star him using his own copies. Uh, but yeah, like I said, it'll be uh, ML Violet and Crimson Armin, who is amazing for stall comps. Uh, she's just so irritating. Um, what else is here? So I wouldn't suggest pulling on this rotation. Like I said, I usually wait for the last rotation, but like, probably not this one. Uh, she got some buffs. I, don't, I still think she's that good. Um, she, she's fine, I guess, but um, we just can't test her out right now because nobody at the top has any molas to try it out. Um, you know, so really what it comes down to is like how a character walk, works. Is like, if you like it, I mean, go ahead and build it. There's no one. I mean, she'll be good in, in, in uh, farming and all that stuff. I used to use her when they first upgraded her. I six-starred her and I put some mola into her. Not, not I didn't max mola, but I put some mola into her and I used her. 
Uh, and she did pretty well. She did. Uh, she was good farming. Uh, she's good in tanky. You give her a life steal set, and she farms pretty well. Um, but then they they let you recall her later because I guess everybody disliked the way she was buffed. Um, and I got I was like, okay, well, that's cool. So I, I took all my stuff out of her. So right now she's five star, um, and no mola. But yeah, so I mean, like I said. She could be good at farming, especially now. She's basically the way she was before, but better. Where the first time they buffed her, she, they changed her completely. So, well, yeah, pretty pretty heavily. Because, um, I mean, this whole last two was taken out. But the way she is now, she's just what she was before, but better. If you like that, then go ahead and, I guess, use her now. I mean, I might eventually, but I'm not going to pull... I'm not going to waste Mystics to get her from this rotation. Um, though I'll... I could use more Maya imprints and more uh, Cartusia imprints, but yeah, I think I'm just gonna wait till next rotation. See what they have, especially this artifact. It's I don't think it's that good. Thirty percent chance. This goes up to sixty percent. I think I would have liked a hundred percent chance on this. I don't, I don't think it would have gone too far. It was something that like like hundred percent chance on this on Ruel would be pretty good. I think uh, she doesn't. Well, she has enough debuffs or she she dispels enough as is she dispels the whole, the whole thing but yeah anyway yeah i'm sort of going off topic here just i don't have enough for pity i'm gonna pull on him just kind of hope i i don't have to pity him or or whatever if i do um but yeah so i'm like halfway so when i'm when you're about halfway it's good to just use them anyway just to for one to lower the counter but also um you might just pull the unit anyway i mean not everybody goes to pity on on mystics all the time most of the time, we all do, but, you know, it's good to remember that, um, you know, it's not always the, the case. But yeah, so that's that.